people, a lot of cool companies, and uh, it's, it's awesome. I like it. Definitely the best weekend of the year. Uh, yeah, it's super sick. There's tons of girls. There's beer gardens where they can just party. There's beaches. There's volleyball. There's wakeboarding. There's everything. And the funnest thing is probably mountain biking. And it's, uh, it's rad. I never usually get to ride with my friends at normal comps, so having them there makes it a whole lot more fun because we can just the beaking and everything makes for a lot better time. Just tell me to do something and then they'll make fun of me and I'll do it. And uh, they always beak me about my height, which kind of sucks, but you know what? I got a low center of gravity. It helps me a lot. <laughs> That'll be good. <laughs> They're gonna hate. This snack right here might be hard to swallow. We doing big things like a Pharaoh's hollow. This leader don't follow. I wallow in my success. Killing shit, I'm obsessed with being the best. Fuck who I impress. The way snack progress. Work ethic driven and bitches the trade I possess. Snacks locally famous, vocally heinous. No joke, shameless. Cutting up squirrels with a stainless. I'm just a dead beat cracker repping East Van. Beach sand, mountains in a shitload of heroin. Smoke northern lights, green party lights. My peoples know they right when cops start fights. Remain modest, brutally honest. So far from the calmest terrorist. Is jealousy and desperation the only explanation on why people hating your respect that I'm taking it. Just go out, chill, ride with the boys, and just have fun and show off to the girls because they're you're that's like your main focus. We Having a bunch of moto guys there was really cool because the trick I was doing is kind of moto inspired. It's called the 360 Indian Air. And laid it down, landed for my first time on dirt, and took home first. It was rad having all my buddies there because I'm always training with them and they see how hard I try to learn things and stuff. And having all them there, landing at my first try, it was pretty sick. What we're training is core control while we're in the air and splitting our focus between jumping and landing at the same time. So this can transfer over to either ditching our bike or using the same sort of core muscles as we would in a tail whip or uh, any sort of rotational exercise. Big day, Mr. Groves. Yes, yes it is, Pete. It is. So you're old enough to drink yet? Nope. And what are you going to do today? I'm going to ride my bike for fun today. Not get too crazy, that's for sure. Don't want to die, so it's only crank works. Doesn't have to be too gnarly today. Now who are you uh who are you trying to beat? Never likes the way. Brandon Semi. A friend but foe. <laughs> we gotta beat him for some time, but this might be the only chance I have this year, so we'll do it. We'll see. Maybe something off this big drop, but that's like last resort. It's pretty gnarly. 
no one's even doing anything off of it so far, so we'll see, I guess. When it comes down to it, there's a ton of pressure, but you know, after I go to the bathroom and take a dump, I'm all good to go. Wake up! After it's way after claw when claw has crashed and then Seminuk has crash or they are the way around, but something just went off in my mind was at the top. Like I knew I had an opportunity knowing that I could do well. And so I never planned to tail up the Kokani, uh, or not Kokani, the monster drop, and I just threw it out there. With the crazy new blend. Well, I was up here earlier and I told you I'd be in jail and stuff. And I kind of did, and then I kind of wanted to go for it. So I put the card in my head and said go for it. So I went for it. Yeah. Wow. So, so good, man. So, so so Casey, you old enough to drink yet? Yeah. After Crankworks, it was I had a lot of time to relax before uh, the next event that I had to go to. So I, I knew that all my sponsors wanted me to like branch out more instead of just riding my hometown doing some dirt jumps at Dreamland and stuff. So Wiper came down and we built a really sick drop. It was about over 15 by 15. Wiper and I were having some problems with the jump, or the drop. He went off too slow, tagged a bit, landing us off, and got fucked over. And it was just like, I was up there right after him. I was like, ah, oh, I don't want to do that. And so we packed the landing, went up there. Knew I wanted to over clear it a tiny bit so I could get past like the knuckle of the landing. Got it good, went up there. I did my first legit bar spin off a flat drop, which made me really stoked. It was a pretty good size jump to three and I landed it super clean which made me just get super pumped up. We built this drop for one reason. For Wiper to be, not only be one of the first people to legitly front flip a flat drop, he got me to try on the phone with him a few times. They're, they're pretty scary and it's just like, have to, you don't have, you don't have much momentum. Like he got, came into it super slow and, Popped up and got off the landing perfectly. It was rotation. It was just, it was unbelievable. It was one of the coolest things to be in. It was so like, it was so just relaxed. It was just us out riding. It was the coolest thing to be there for. And it was, he was gnarly. It was awesome too. It was on my birthday, my 19th birthday. So we sent it pretty good after that to celebrate. So it was a good night. It was a good weekend for sure. We're having a big jam. This weekend, we got Demon Dirt coming out, they're gonna support us. We got Butterworth here shooting it, we got UP. Oh, yeah! Gonna be sick at it. You know what, man? End of the season kind of deal. I'm gonna say something, man, that I've been dying for saying for a long time. First day riding men, got a buff as heck today, and they're sick, dude. Like, the industry is cold, so I'm bringing the light as I hold the mic like a spear. I'm King Leonidas. In the booth, I'll divide you from the truth. Keeping one eye open while I'm targeting your roof. Coincidence or not, I'll provide you the proof. This ain't a scene, it's an arms race. Arm your troops. <laughs> Circulate circumstance in my circle I'm certainly advised by the wise with virtue First to realize the alliance that you formed is wrong Alongside real liars on the song yeah. Research your speech and speak first Never second when your weapon is knowledge Talk about different first. tricks for different the jumps pain is how they market the range Well, of there's that claim a lot of tricks you can do on a straight jump Basically every trick you can do on a straight jump Or those hips where you can do downside tricks or topside tricks like tail ups or even 270s and techno handers, no cans, everything. Yeah. Hips are a lot more fun. Nice try. Turns out I'm one of the nice guys. Plus, I'm making my life rise and dreams rise. I saw them white lies right from the beginning. Thought you had me spinning because I was up in it grinning. For a minute, a minute, you took it for granted. Granted, you just a taste.
but you continue to take Yeah, I recognize you had them reckless eyes So I stepped aside knowing there was another side What a beautiful loser, use and lose yourself Who's the else that you claiming to be? No explaining either girl, cause it's clear for me Well you were cloaking and joking, just remember you were joking on these I heard you're interested in fatty D, but so many put on like getting your hoodie on. A girl's goody silicone, trying to get my million. Really on the next level, just like ding. Them's got big talk, but ranges don't stop. Hence my hesitance, I need my residence. Sign right here, let us take you across the nation. When time gets wasted, me and talent step on. Yeah, I bounce the spot, challenge your block. I see the confident smiles, but find the empty promise a lot. So I hustle my ways outside the box. Climbing on tops and flakes, I'm brushing you off. Fuck off. Hey, here's some pups. From AT Shooter. It's not really a slope style event, it's more of a dirt jumping event, but it's kind of a mixture as well. It's like Except honestly one of my favorite events. This is the first time here, help come and help AT and Greg out with the course and get everything and get everything dialed. It's pretty good, I like it. It's cool because it's kind of like those old cash guy events, but everything's a lot bigger because slope style events, yeah, they have like decent sized jumps, but half of them are just a little bit bigger than that trick jump there. And having a 35 foot gap to learn to like, try your big tricks on is a lot better. And having like a step up onto a, a dirt step up onto a container box is pretty sick because it's a lot tighter than just anything wood and it's not fast. You have to make it perfect. And as usual, having a quarter at the end of the course is always normal. But it's probably one of the funnest things in the feature. It's not too gnarly. You can get all your gnarly stuff off first and then uh, finish it up. Usually when you like think of digging out the jumps, it's not <laughs> digging your car out of the, the ditch. <laughs> He's here. 
getting his truck out of the ditch. So, and I've never ridden a bike on snow, so I might as well try it out while we're waiting. <laughs>
But you see her face, it's painted everywhere. You see her face, it's painted everywhere. You see her face, it's painted everywhere.